guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to ring to episodes five and six of To Your Other Self. Let's go ahead and get uh, let's go ahead and get started with episode five in three, two, one, go. What the fuck is that? Was that um? What's the thing that astronauts wear? That body suit, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so now they're working on their own, of course. They're gonna be like the other bad guys that, you know, everybody else has to work out, worry about. Shit. Because, of course, everybody wants the dragon tort for their own specific reasons. Um, cut a suit? I think that's right. That's the again. Um, of course, she wants it to just save the world. Um, I'm guessing those three now want it to for themselves. Because typically, usually, it is like that. Essentially, why another group will want it. Typically, could be a different reason. Um, still, I don't know. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. Like I said, this is like Science Gate and a couple other animes that I've seen in a nutshell, but um, I think as someone mentioned to me in the comment today, basically was like, the more I get into the series, the more questions will get answered for me and such. That's why I feel like with this show, like big, big questions, they're not really going to get answered until maybe like 12 to 24 instead of 1 to 11, possibly. These are just going to have these first 11 episodes are going to be like, here's all the questions that you have. And then 12 to 24, here are all those answers to those questions that you've been wondering for 11 freaking episodes in ish. I felt like there's going to be an episode where Hanukkah might possibly go into the past. Maybe I don't know. I still feel like she's gonna go into the future with Cutter. There's still a lot of like things that you're wondering what is gonna happen to her later on. But I gotta keep watching. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. And of course, that I'll be watching her. I feel like he's gonna try to take her again today. No, you're not imagining anything. There is somebody fucking watching you, but he's not there now. <laughs> oh, God. Even the <laughs> even the dog got glasses. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what? That's actually something I would do with <laughs> my dog, <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. <laughs> what if they take Hanukkah's dog? Oh my god, I don't want to think like that. Hey, kitty. They're gonna take the dog. Don't take the puppy. Oh, you can see your puppy. Oh! Do not use a fucking Ouija board. Oh my god, have y'all not seen horror movies? Hello, what the fuck is wrong with y'all girls? Like, mm -mm. Have you not seen Ouija, the origin of evil? And what happened to that girl in the end? She got possessed and she turned into a demon. We don't do that shit.
She also needs to put her hand on the thing. It's not going to work unless all three of you do it. Yeah, right. <laughs> N. O. No. E. I. N. I. N. Nine. That mask thing that taught her last week. Let's not. Let's not. I mean, that's an interesting question, but still, no. Just please remember to say goodbye to the spirits unless you're going to get haunted for the rest of your life, and I don't think you girls want that. Of course. So then are we going to see the hot exit of the There's got to be an episode where we're going to go into the future. And we get to see her and maybe her other friends. Because I feel like, okay, the one who's talking to Ketisu is um, Izumi, I think that's his name. Because he kind of looks like him in the face. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, that sounds so good. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten yet. There's got to be another reason why she's so clingy and overprotective. Yes, parents are clingy and overprotective of their children, but to me, she seems a little too overprotective.
but we'll talk more about that at the end because I have a lot of questions still. <laughs> so he really can't do anything. He's screwed. <laughs> Sure you are, but still, you need to distract yourself with other things. <laughs> yeah, she's not nice, she's just passionate. Trying to contact him. Oh, yeah. I mean, he could sneak out, but I don't think he just, he doesn't want to get scolded by his mom again. Um, if they do that, they can't go back, right? I mean, shit. How the hell are you going to survive, though? I don't need the black girl to die in this damn series. What the fuck? Oh my god, Jesus. Going by going to talk to you, there ain't no man over there. Mm -mm. You can see him, but not them. Whatever that was, it's not good. She can be fucking anywhere now. Oh my god. Where are you though? The bridge? Oh. 
Mm -hmm. It's too much. Use it for their own personal gain, duh. Well, um, sir, I don't think your arms are going to go back after this. Okay. Um, 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 hello, uh, sir. Explain that is. Figure the moment that. Is it supposed to be Hanukkah? Oh, shit. Who the fuck is going to stop this? Oh my god.
What is she gonna do? Reverse time? Mm-hmm. In a way, she ch this child. Oh my god. <laughs> so maybe that's the reason why they want her. She has to be. But that takes so much out of her. Girl, how I don't even know, honey. You don't even know. None of us know. Except the people who watch this series. Okay, where are you going to take her? But he's not defining any, well, in a way he is, but it's only because he's thinking of what's right for Haruka at the end of the day. Yeah, we all saw that shit. Um, no. Even if y'all had a video camera, okay, yeah. Did you get it? I mean, mm. Bruh! <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh. Oh shit, are you fucking kidding? Oh my god. Oh my oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? To be that fucking close. That fucking close to her. And I had you know what? Because let's go back to last week. Because it didn't say she was gonna disappear from him, but I wasn't expecting it like that. I was like thinking Maybe it might take a couple more episodes, and then finally it's just gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna take it just like that. But not, I, I wasn't expecting it to go that way. Oh fuck, what the? Heck? She about to see some ish that she's never seen before. I mean, maybe things that I have questioned about her might end up getting answered in episode six. I don't know. It, it just it makes you wonder what the hell is she gonna see with this shit. I mean, oh God, she's she is going into like unknown territory. She's gonna ask so many fucking questions, like what the hell is going on? Explain this, this, that, and the third. I need answers like right the fuck now, not two days from now, three days from now, a month from now, right the fuck now. I mean, but are they really going to explain that to her? I mean, they're gonna look at her as the dragon tork, no matter what. They're not gonna look at her as Haruka, the person, they're gonna look at her as Haruka, the dragon Thork, the key to all of this. I mean, typically as a person, like, okay, this is some Kingdom Hearts-ish, where it's like, we don't look at you as a person, we look at you as the symbol of whatever the fuck we need, and that's what they're doing right now. Oh my god, I can't. No, this is too much. She's good as she what it looks like. 
like, oh my fucking god. No, I wasn't right. I thought it was gonna be at least like episode 10 or 11. I wasn't going into episode 6 thinking that she's gonna see this post-apocalyptic world and be like, yeah, I know what I have to do now. I have to sacrifice myself. I was expecting this girl to like, yeah, between 10, 11, or 12 and this was going to happen to her. And then from episode 12 to 24, you know, go back and forth between what she has to do and versus her heart. Because it's like, let's just say it went like that route. Let's just say. So she goes into it. She finds out the post-apocalyptic world, the hell that, you know, the world has become because of whatever reasons. And hopefully we'll find that out soon, eventually. Um, and then she comes home by episode 12. And from 12 to 24, she's debating um, whether or not if she should be true and go with the birds and be this sacrifice to save the world or if she should stay with you. Because no matter what, she's still technically with you, um, Flash Kurosu, because the the tube that has to inside that has to be Hanukkah. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions with it. And hopefully we get to see the relationship of Haruka and Kurosu and how they are versus the relationship of you and Haruka together. It's similar in a way, but not too, too similar because there are some differences between the two. I mean, you know, you as Kurosu older, he is much older than her and he's coming back into the past to, you know, fix the future and yada, yada, and bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But this you, baby you, as like I like to say, um, he's more, at first, like with episode one and episode two, he's more of a kid who wants to run away, a kid who's scared. And at first I was thinking this kid is going, I was thinking for like this whole damn series that he was going to be a kid that I was going to love slash hate for the fact is that, okay, he wants to do something, but because of the fact is he's afraid, he's not going to pursue it in a way. But, you know, he's kind of proving me wrong with the with these first five episodes. So no matter what, he's going to do everything that he can because he truly, really cares for Haruka. Not as, like, a friend, but more as a love relationship because I feel like something is going to bloom between these two. I mean... It's kind of obvious, but okay. Going into Yu's mom and situation and her shit, they keep going back to the picture of maybe her and possibly her her older daughter, which would be Yu's older sister. And I'm guessing something happened to his sister. Maybe she died or something. Um, and that could be the reason why she's so overprotective of Yu. And not only with the fact that she's like, oh, yeah, he can't hang out with friends. He has to worry about nothing but cramsel, um, 24-7, 365 days a week, or um, 365 days a year and such, to the point where he he's locked down in his own room. And I think she wants to prevent him possibly dying or getting hurt like his sister. It's still a lot of unanswered questions in that situation. And so maybe in these next few episodes, or if not in these next few episodes, maybe before this damn show ends, you need to kind of get that answer. Because if this show ends, and of course I know this, it's typically like with any show that has 24 to 26 episodes. Any question, typically out of, let's say I have like 60 questions about this whole entire series as a whole, or any 24, 26, how many ever are fucking episodes there are in the series? 50 out of 50, by the time I finish the series, maybe either, as I said with 60 questions, maybe 30 or less of my questions get answered. Um, like with Steins Gate, half of my questions got answered, even with watching Steins Gate Zero and being like, oh, okay, I get it. But then by the time I finished Steins Gate Zero as a reaction, I still had a lot of unanswered questions and Sometimes those are just theory questions. Whenever you're, you know, you're playing a game or you're reading a book or you're watching a movie that is in a series of movies, and by the time you finish that series, you still have some fucking questions and you're sitting here like, well, what about this? What about that? And those are your theory questions. And that's what it is for me because personally, 
it, you're, I'm sitting here every single week wondering how many of my questions are going to be answered by the end of this damn series. And it could be all of them, or it could be half of them. I don't think it's going to be none of them. I feel like that's all my, almost maybe all or half of my questions will be answered, but still it's just, I need an episode on his mom and on his family because then it makes you wonder like what happened to his dad. That's another thing. I, I still just want like really one damn good episode indicating the past before Kadesu and everybody else showed up where we got to see these kids have a normal life before, you know, Haruka's parents um, divorced before, you know, possibly you sister died or whatever, how their everyday lives used to be before this stuff. Like I, I would like to, like, ugh, I can't speak right now. What I like to call the shit storm of this show or the bad stuff that came before everything went to shit. Because slowly but surely, everything is going to shit. Because these characters don't know. But like I said, getting into episode 6 into a minute, Haruka is about to see what the world truly looks like into the future. And it's going to scare her. I do know that at the end of the day. I have that weird feeling. It's going to scare her shitless. Like, to the point where when she comes back home, that is really going to be in her mind. The entirety for the rest of the damn series. And she's going to be debating about what she should truly do. You either follow this prophecy and maybe change the world or you say no and you live your everyday normal life until maybe one day you are taken away and you have no say into it. Technically, even now, she has no say with being taken or not. It's still... There, there is no question or answer. You go in no matter what. I'm just saying, but I ain't gonna know until I watch episode six. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. BCW, you hear stuff in the background. They are currently outside blowing leaves, so I am sorry. This is going to end so badly. They might even kill him. He cannot say that. Can't you just hear him out first, though? Like, oh my god, there's no reason to do this. You know, you guys are worse than Levi when in season one of Attack on Titan when he beat the shit out of Eden. <laughs> but honestly, he deserved it. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh fuck. I hate the fact that they just did that to him. I mean, I guess the fact that he doesn't want to give up Haruka and surrender her to them. But they really should have just listened to him, like, hear him out just a little teeny tiny bit. But, I mean, we're in a world slash dimension society where sometimes it's fight first and then ask questions later. Um... And it sucks. And it really should be like, let's hear this person's side of the story before we do anything to them and let them face the consequences. Because like I said, they, you know, it's like that in the real world. 
with the situation that's currently happening in the world and people dying without, you know, getting their word out for no freaking reason. And people will just kill people just to kill people. And it's sad. And I hate the fact that I'm bringing that up, but looking at that, it just reminds you of the way our world is today. You wouldn't think animals have comparison to the real world, but you never really truly know. I don't think he's dead. I, I he's he's probably just out of commission for now. I don't know. I'm I have no fucking clue. Dimension tears. Not in the way I thought it was going to be, but... Mm -hmm. Being tested by your significance to are they gonna test on her and stuff like do surgery and possibly torture the crap? It makes me wonder what would have possibly happened if he grabbed her in time and if he went with them. God, I don't, I don't like the fact that I'm thinking about her. Thinking about it like that. Oh my god, yes, I. Like, where the hell do you think she could have gone? She, You think she at home? She's gone? Oh my god! She might not never come back. What are you gonna do? Probe her or some shit? Oh no, you're testing. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think they have parents.
secret you in the post-apocalyptic future. But then it makes you wonder how many dimensions there are. He's not locked up, is he? I swear to God. He is. Of course. He's not a bad guy. I mean, he did what he had to. He was saving Haruka. I mean, he was already a bad guy anyway, so nobody give a fuck about him. I'm just saying. I killed him too if I had to. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, you know, like FBI type ish, CIA. Can't talk about that ish to a normal person because of the danger it might happen. You know, I don't know. Crystal. She's got a, what the heck is that? Uh, girl, uh, no, thank you. I'm good. Mm. Of course. Mm -hmm. So there's multiple different copies of you in multiple different dimensions that maybe could have played a part in the exact same thing, but they just decided to choose you. So there could be one to. <laughs> dimension where you are grown up and you probably passed all of this and you're okay. But still at the same time, it's kind of a butterfly effect. So if this happens, this will also happen. And if this doesn't happen, this might happen. So it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. I kind of figured that probably not that long. Yeah. 
Do you really want to disappear that bad? So I didn't make it. Yeah, but how the hell are you going to get out of there? There is no way that you can get out of there, child. <laughs> really? Yeah, but how do you get up there? Oh, okay, a ladder. Elevator? Mm-hmm. I think my take her all the way up to the top. So then where's me off? So in a weird way, the way this city kind of looks, it looks almost like districts, you know, almost hard name style in a way. Um, and they're all separated by like certain things. Mainly like the scientists and the regular people who can't really do shit. What if she's I? I wouldn't be surprised about that because since Miho's daughter is here, Miho has to be here herself. And look at her face. Look at her hair and look at her eyes. That is them! 
It is. It is. <laughs> So then where the fuck is Mio? Yeah, but the younger version called her a bitch anyway! <laughs> So then, would Haruka's mom be here? Or would Haruka's mom be dead? I thought it would be like if they went outside, they could breathe. Because, I mean, when in episode one, when Kodasu and friends were in there, they were fine. But if a regular human possibly goes up, you would think that um, it would be hard to breathe in. The air isn't, you know, purified or pure. As it is in the present, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you should not look down. Because you're the only one who's able to take her. You can't go back now. Oh my god. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah, she going to the surface. Better hurry. I mean, damn, how the hell y'all get up here before she did? But she is. Look at her bangs. Look at her eyes. Mm 
You bet. Oh, fucking Christ. Are you? Oh, I was like, oh my God, I know. This is such bullshit. Honestly, I thought we were going to get the answer right there. I'm like, oh, what the fuck happened? Why is the world like this? What happened for it to be like this? But, oh my God. We just need to see Miho. Miho's the only one that we got to see how she looks older for 15 years. And maybe Haruka, but I feel like they're just going to show her in that too. This is older Haruka, guys. There's some shit. I don't know. But, oh God, she might... Maybe I might tell her almost everything. I'm not sure, but... um, Just as much as I want one episode about the past, I want one episode of the future. 15 years in the future where we got to see how, why the world is the way it is right now, possibly. And maybe also how Hanukkah can prevent it. I don't know. It's still a lot of unanswered questions. Who knows how the hell the show is going to continue on, how it's possibly going to end. This is only episode six, and I have no fucking clue at all. I am, like, excited but worried at the same time because I have no idea how the hell this is going to go. It could go one route, and it could go a completely different route. I mean, she could die by the end of this. She could cease to exist by the end of this. I don't know. I mean... I mean, I get the fact that you want to find her no matter what, but it's like, do you realize what you're going to have to go through doing this journey? You're you're gonna, you, he's possibly gonna have to kill people, and I don't know if this kid is ready to kill someone. I mean, this is a white 11, 12, 13, 14 year old boy, and I mean, do I think he is at that age where I don't think he's gonna have PTSD? He is. I mean, anyone... Typically, even in a video game, when you have when you're doing your first kill, I mean, it's kind of like, even though I haven't finished the game, but I know it happens because it happens in like the second Tomb Raider series where she's really like PTSD and about her first kill and everything that she had to do in the first game. But who knows? I mean, he could be strong enough to kill someone and do whatever he can to save Haruka at the end of the day. But I don't know what these kids might do to save her they could literally do anything but still i need an episode going into what the fuck transpired 15 years later how the fuck it turned out to be a post-apocalyptic world and why they're personally living underground because of these monsters that are out there and hunting these people what the fuck happened that's all i need to know and then it makes you wonder if they went a, to a different dimension and took that hadaka would the same thing possibly happen? Who knows? That's the thing. That's one of the million dollar questions at the end of the day. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes five and six of To Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes seven and eight. Bye, guys.